Tell them what's about to happen today, bro. What's about to happen is we're about to break down the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Hold on, that, like, say that again. The, the attempted assassination of a former U.S. president. Not only is this the attempted assassination of a U.S. president, it is also the latest in a string of incidents that should cause everyone to call, ask questions about why is Biden running the country when he's clearly in cognitive decline? How much of what mainstream has, media has been saying is even true? Are there actually interests that are conspiring to take down Trump? Or is this just another isolated incident that we can explain away? And it's an important time to actually ask questions rather than make assumptions, because if nothing else, this should be a wake up call and be like, what is actually going on here? Based on what we can see right now, what are the facts? Is that Trump had a rally today. Mm -hmm. In that rally, gunshots went off. Mm -hmm. And based on video, he got shot in the ear. I voted against Trump in both 2016 and 2020. Mm -hmm. I got the COVID vaccination in 2021 when it came out. That's why out. he has a little okay. twitch in his eye. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so if I start, <laughs> uh, so like, and, and these days to say it lightly, I would make different decisions as the person that I am now. I changed a lot. I've changed my opinion because the facts that I'm aware of have changed about what's going on in America, what's going on with the, the powers that be. And I no longer believe that the world is the trustable, safe place where everyone's a good actor and the government's transparent. I want to give you your fucking kudos because mm -hmm. I think that you just admitted to something that so many people are not willing to admit, which is like, mm -hmm. yo, I changed my fucking opinion. Yeah. And I think so many people are like, they have stapled their feet to the ground mm -hmm. of the opinion that they had 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. An opinion that they had when we can all admit that the information ecology has been fucking diluted. That's my but in, in general, there's a larger trend of genuine cause for concern and questions about the state of information and the yes, truth. Yes, yes. Because this is coming off the back of three weeks ago, there was a presidential debate between sitting president Joe Biden and former president Trump. Mm -hmm. And it was clear that Biden was not fully in possession of his mental faculties. He's uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh look like it was not his best fucking night as we all know most americans don't pay attention to like politics until it's like crunch time it's like most people don't pay attention unless it's debate or it's like the actual election night yeah. if this is all you're going to pay attention to if this is all the information that you have mm -hmm. trump this guy talking versus biden this guy talking it, it wasn't even a competition it wasn't even yeah. a conversation unless you're so committed to ne like anti-trump everything mm -hmm. which i think I, I don't trust your opinion if yeah. that's the case yeah yeah and actually you know what would be interesting i i want to give a reverse timeline that just should cause you to ask questions about what's actually been going on about the stories we get told about trump and mm -hmm. who's running the country and all of this mm -hmm. okay so today trump had he got shot yes a few weeks ago, Joe Biden revealed himself to be basically mentally incompetent. Yes. A few uh, months prior to that, Trump was convicted of a felony for sending 150K to a porn star for her basically to just not tell the public that they had sex. Okay, millions of public dollars were spent on a long running case to prosecute Trump for that. So before like Trump started like heating up again, actually even before his presidency, he was a darling of the media. Mm -hmm never any big controversy and then when he started he when he started to run people just didn't really take him seriously mm -hmm. once he started to get taken seriously then all these like cancellation attacks and, and attempts, all yeah. these character attacks and i'm not saying that some of the things that were said about what he said were not true mm -hmm. okay and you can say all the things about he's rude or he's disrespectful or maybe he, he doesn't value women wh whatever all these things are relevant but the noise keeps getting louder mm -hmm. as he keeps getting closer to the oval office yes and now several people have said in fact we're gonna pull up an interview from tucker carlson where he literally said First, they try to cancel you, then they try to convict you. And he said, I'm afraid that Trump is going to get assassinated. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment, now you go to indictment and none of them work, what's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously. You need to look at this and say, 
like what information have I been trusting in from whom? Another clip, Joe Scarborough of MSNBC. This guy's been an anchor for I think decades at this point. This guy's been around as long as I can remember. Mm. Four months ago, four months ago said Biden is not only cogent, but he's the best he's ever been. This version of Biden is the best Biden ever. In fact, I think he's better than he's ever been. President Biden has a photographic memory. His understanding and mastery of a complicated geopolitical situation is remarkable. He is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. <laughs> come on, come on. Like, like, it's like, it's like, so the, the first question is, and the reason I mentioned like my background as someone who didn't vote for Trump is because I bought the stories. I bought the stories that he's a bad guy, that he's a racist, that he's going to run the country into the ground. By the way, those things didn't seem to happen in 2020 through 2020, uh, 2016 through 2020. As I remember, it was a period of, you know, there was division within the country, but America's still intact. And I bought those stories and I was just, I basically, my conclusion was this guy seems bad. So I'm going to vote against him. Yeah. Because of? Because of the media. Because the information that you presented. The information right. I was presented. So the information that mm -hmm. you presented helped you to determine the perspective of a person, which then, then led you to make a decision about who should be the, next, the president of the next United States. Yep. Right? Like, If you're a news organization, what you need to do is you, you need to rile people up. Mm -hmm. Great. Fantastic. I understand you're just trying to make your fucking money. But then what does that fucking do? Mm -hmm. That means that, oh, if I'm only going to post bad stories about Trump, if I'm only going to highlight the negative things, if I might even be willing to blur the line and start sharing stories that, oh, maybe I haven't vetted completely, mm -hmm. but you know, it makes him look bad and i know this is gonna like if i just start putting all that in one direction and every and there are people who only get their information from one ideologically leaning entity mm -hmm. then you're just reinforcing and you, you create a fucking bias yeah. and if you are a person watching this video right now can you actually say if i've only been watching cnn if i've only been watching fox news that i don't have a fucking bias or if i've only been hanging around my other liberal friends in california and that's my friend group and i don't actually try to compare multiple sources of inf information as a black man i'm sure that you can fucking relate there is this almost like omniscient expected expectation that like you're a democrat mm -hmm. you're you're liberal you're gonna vote blue mm -hmm. like there's not even a conversation right and of course if you if you even question it you're an uncle tom mm -hmm. if you even question it, oh you've abandoned your race and da 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 and i remember just like we were like watching the debate between like hillary clinton and and trump and whatever and i was like I see why people would vote for Trump. Mm. I yeah, see. I, get it. I fucking get it. And mm. the fact that I like the fact that I was even afraid to even think that and mm. feel that. And so it's like you're not even allowed to like empathize with the other yeah. side. And I remember I was like looking at Trump and I'm like, yo, if you have been obviously lied to and taken advantage of by government and media for a long time, you want somebody who's not a part of this fucking circus to be mm. coming and be like, yo, I'm putting a middle finger at all this. And I remember Trump got elected and all my friends were like <gasps> The nukes are about to go off. Yeah. Yeah. Are safe and secure society. So this is how liberty dies. We're such a moralizing society these days where we, we, we want to pretend that people are perfect. So any sign of imperfection gets blown out of yeah. proportion to the point where we're still talking if about- they're not on the right team. If they're not on the right team. Yeah, they're not on the right team, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. So, so first is this, this is layer of moralization where morality or projections of morality mm -hmm. become more important than what a person's actually trying to do. Yes. And the reason why Trump got elected in the first place is because he said, drain the swamp. These people are fucking corrupt. You guys have no idea how deep the corruption goes. We have created a environment and a reality for ourselves in which we can say we don't trust our government. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think it's more sane at this moment in our history as Americans to not trust your government than it is to trust your government. Uh -huh. Because repeatedly, over and over, the distorting of facts is so obvious and so fucking apparent. Mm. If you are going to say you still trust the things that are shown to you on mainstream media after that, I like, I, I, I like, come on. Yeah, but 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 in fairness, look, I, I think I want to. It's a conspiracy a theory to say that everything is true. I think you need to proceed from the assumption that the government is biased because guess what? The government is composed of people, and everyone's biased. I'm biased. Amari's biased. You're biased. It's okay to be biased. It's not okay to be intellectually dishonest and not ask questions because it's like, it sounds crazy. Well, guess what? Crazy shit is happening. This is the craziest thing yet. My assumption is that because of the polarization, 
because of the divisiveness and the divisiveness and the polarization as a result of the lack of uh, information integrity in the social media age when everybody's like, no, like, let's create this guy to be a bad character. Oh, let's create the Democrats to be the saviors over here because we've just created this like the heaven and hell. Uh, these people are gods and these people are devils. And because that just feeds on people's base emotions and gets people all riled up, they're willing to do stupid fucking things, i.e. climb on a roof and try to assassinate the next president of the United States of America. So my assumption outside of any big conspiracies is not that this is because due to and because of you know the the left wing or the right wing i think this is due to the fact of social media and us as human beings american citizens have contributed to this super gross contorted disgusting warped reality in which we can't make sense of the truth and when you can't make sense of the truth you do stupid fucking things and i think that because we are not prioritizing the the integrity of information shit like this is going to keep happening because people are going to keep being like you know it's like here's a story it's super easy i went to university of south carolina right go cox pause i went to university of south carolina and from like day one they're like yo clemson that team over there fuck them fuck them and and you, you have to you, you might think that this is like petty little school shit like it got to the point where if i saw the color orange i noticed myself being like like, like angry like don't wear fucking orange around here I, I remember like one time my friend was wearing orange like yo yo you're on campus bro like what are you doing and it like it, it feeds into this fucking tribalism that all of a sudden you stop seeing reality it's like nigga i didn't even know what clemson was like four months ago and now all of a sudden they they deserve to like all of a sudden be lesser of human beings mm -hmm. and if we can do that with sports teams we can definitely do that with politics if we can do that with politics we're going to do that with countries we do that countries going to do with races and we have seen what we do to people that we think are different we have seen what we do to people when we think that they're less than them and if you keep doing that with left and right and democrat and republican yes people will get shot in the fucking face because you guys are continuing to do this tribalism caveman shit that we could have been done with a long ass time ago if we had some fucking self-awareness preach yeah one thing we actually didn't really discuss is how Trump reacted after he got shot. Yes. Which is he got up and he took a moment to acknowledge the crowd and raise his fist. And I don't know what he was saying, but it looked like he was saying fight. Something like that. Great PR moment. Yeah. Great PR moment Amazing. aside, the way I personally felt about that was, oh, this guy is actually trying to do something here. And one of the biggest criticisms of Trump is that he's a narcissist, he's just corrupt, he's just trying to big in his own pockets. I see a person who's a freedom fighter. Who just got shot in the head. And who just got shot and, like, and got up and said, fight. Yeah. So I both fought that and I actually felt that. I said, this is one of the first times that I've actually like felt something mm. about how Canada is responding to real hardship in, mm -hmm. in real time. Mm -hmm. And I was inspired. Mm -hmm. I, I actually thought, wow, you know what? Like this guy is a revolutionary mm -hmm. and you might not like him. He might be a bit crass, but he is a revolutionary. He is trying to do something. And regardless of whether this was an organized takedown or assassination attempt by some deep state, whatever, what's clear to me is that the way that Trump has been presented and the idea that I had in my head about who he is, is it needs to erode because I saw a different man who got shot today. The bomb has gone off for the rest of 2024 in the mm -hmm. election. I think that everything that happens from now, every news cycle, every cultural moment will be informed and affected by this. Mm -hmm. And I think that whether that's gonna be for good or for not, uh, who knows? But I think that if we continue to approach culture and if we continue to approach specifically politics uh in the ways that we have which are divisive and polarizing and he said she said and democrats good and republicans bad we're just going to create more of this and i think that we are not going to end up anywhere that we want to be and i think we are already in the depths of a muck that we've created for ourselves as a result of social media and as a result of tribalism and yeah unless we want to continue to fuck ourselves we're gonna have to look at that pattern and do something about it Make sure you subscribe, make sure you tune in, make sure you like, because at the end of the day, we, we're, we're right here. We're, we're, we're reporting live from the season finale of America. And if you want to watch it with us, you should make sure that you subscribe. You don't want to miss an episode because we're going to go deeper on this. There's more stories happening in the next couple weeks. From, until then, my name is Mari. My name is Kaizen. Stay safe out there. Stay safe.
protect your earlobes. 